Hello everybody and welcome back Omega Given here. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to run your Township Tales servers. This, er this video is meant for beginners if you've never really touched your server that much and like as far as like commands and such. This video is for you. Basically I'm going to run down um, the resources you have to be able to change stuff around as well as like some of the helper guides and stuff like that that you can use because you know you're not going to find everything in this video. So. First off, if you go over to my channel, you can basically click on any video and I have all the resources you basically will need to be able to manage your server. So if we click on, who knows, the like, first video or whatever, if you go to my description in these videos, you can do this on your phone as well, you'll see this whole section right here, ATT server resources. This is going to be your number one helper to be able to understand your server. So we have the server dashboard, dash.townshiptail.com. So I'm going to actually close out of these. And we'll show you from the beginning, dash.townshiptail.com. This is this. This is the dashboard. Um, it's very blank. Um, you might have to log in using your Alta account that you use to log into the game. Um, so here we can be able to go into our server and do a bunch of stuff there's server. I'm going to leave this one for later. So let's keep going. Um, other things we have is the Alta launcher. So this is for PC VR um, players. You can download the launcher that you can on your PC to be able to then run your server. So that's super helpful for you guys. Um, you have the CJ's item list. This is super helpful for uh, spawning in items because you can go here, you can go to items, and it'll have a full list of every item that we know of in the game, which is super helpful. And it also has a little color coordinated to see if it works on Quest or not on Quest, only on PC VR. So that's super helpful for you guys. So if you ever need an item, you can always come here and you can find that item and the exact name of it or the ID if you want to, you know, spawn it by ID. And that's super helpful. Um, next, we have a couple of, uh, or no, we have one string list. So if you are on PC VR, you can spawn in strings, which are the cool, big, whatever objects and items. So you can get these things that you cannot make in game, but you can spawn in because they're custom made kind of stuff by people in the community. So thank you all for that, and Fussle for putting this list together. All right. Um, so we have CJ list, Fussle string list. What's some other stuff? We have the Township Tale um, Discord and then the Meta Discord. Now, if you do not find an answer to your question in this video or in any of my videos, you can always go to this Discord right here, the ATT Meta Discord. And this Discord will have plenty of people there to help you in managing your server and be able to do more stuff with your server and have fun with your friends. And of course, you have to be admin and moderator of that server. I should have mentioned that at the beginning. This is only for admins and moderators of your servers, not for if it's not your server, then you can't do anything. All right. So that's basically some of the stuff, and I guess I don't have the tavern in here, so I'll have to update um, all my newer videos. But we also have Tavern, which is the um, main website for like managing your Township Tale user profile. So we go to tavern.townshiptale.com. It'll take you to this website. I'll put this in the video description. Don't worry. And from here, you can be able to you know buy cosmetics. But better than that is you can be able to manage your servers by going to the server tab finding your server that you are a admin or moderator of, which is, I'll go to my Omega Given test server, as this is my quest server that I just do random stuff on. I don't really play that much on it anymore, at least I play PC VR mainly. And you can be able to do a bunch of different things. So that is all of your helpful things. I'll make sure that, that these resources are in the video description down below. Uh, I also have the lore board there for if you want to see some cool stuff about lore um, from our lore videos. And yeah. So let's go on to some the tavern because if you want to manage your server, I think the tavern is probably one of the best places to do it nowadays. Um, I used to tell people that you should go to the dash.townshiptail.com, which still works and it's very helpful for like a lot of different things. But I think tavern is probably the good website to go to for like quick access to things. And there's also the prefabricator. I'm not going to cover that in this video because that's more complicated stuff. And there's other people that have made very good videos. So go to those videos if you want to understand how to prefab items in. Now that's very complicated. We're not covering that in this video. We're going to cover basics for beginners and such. So tavern. Once you find your server and you open it up right here on your phone and or on your computer, you'll have a bunch of different tabs. The about tab, members, reports, console, world saves, settings. Uh, basically, um, the main things that we want to cover are going to be in the console command, world saves, and settings. Um, members will just tell you members, of course, you know, requests, invites, and bans. You can actually ban people. Um, reports will show you um, maybe if your server is public and like somebody reports somebody for doing something, you can, that report will show up here. And then from this place, you can actually ban those people from your server for a set time or eternity. Who knows? And then we have the console. We're going to come back to the console. 
But let's go. So let's go to the world saves. World saves. We have a place where you can save your world. This is very helpful for say if like you and a bunch of friends did something very big, and you're worried that your server is going to break because you're doing other commands. You might want to save your world beforehand before doing some kind of crazy thing that who knows what you're trying to think of doing. Um, so save your server. Um, you can go right here and then save world. Um, I have it kind of covered. So triple dot over here on the right and then save world. And then you can also click on the world by triple dot and then you can just do restore save. Um, the server must be offline to do that. So you got to make sure you log off and everything to do that. So that's super helpful there. All right. So we have the settings thing. This is basically very basic stuff for your server. So you can change the name of your server. Um, you can change the type of server. So my server is private right now. You can change the public or open. I don't know what the difference is between public and open. If somebody wants to find out, I'll put in the description. Um, let me know. Um, so that's how you can do that. And then you can change the description of your server. So there's the one server board. This will kind of be like what it says on that server board. And you can click update. And then another thing is the settings board down here. This is super helpful for, uh, you know, enabling the settings board. You can see there's, it's a toggle. I have it on. What does that mean? Well, let me expand my screen on the right. So I'm on my township tail server. Uh, my quest server. I have this button right here above me and that will enact. Oh, I, I might need to press it again. I think I had it already open. That will enact the server board. The server board in game basically makes it so you can be able to change different stats and such. You can change like player damage, multiply or the multiplier of damage, um, filling your community bins and a bunch of other stuff like that. If you want to keep it very survival, don't use too many of these commands as it's kind of going to ruin your experience. Um, there's also Phil Hunger, this is very helpful stuff, changed it today, that kind of stuff. All right, but that's basically the uh, server board. Okay, so let's go to the console stuff, which is probably what you're here for. So if we go to the console tab, you will probably see that it won't actually let you get to this. This command right here is probably on the little thing that was right before this, because you need to make sure you're logged in on your server. Luckily, I'm logged into my server up top, so you can be able to see that I'm logged in and you can see that the command does the command line does work if your server is offline this command line won't work you need to make sure you turn it on your server by logging into your server or having anybody log in it doesn't even have to be you um, but that's one way to do it now what can you do with commands because there's a lot of commands you have no idea what you're doing well for starters let's just do the basic help command yes help and what that will do is it's going to open up a thing for you to be able to see every command that you're able to do so you have tons of commands that you probably have no clue what you're doing, but you, what you can do more is if you don't understand it, you can do help and then the name of the command that you need help using. So um, let's go over some basic commands like help. Um, let's do player. Why not help player? It's how to interact with players. So help player. So we can do help player and it's gonna give us a whole bunch more stuff about how to use the player command. So we have player count, player kick. Ooh, so you can kick people. Um, how do you do that? Well, player kick, the name of that player, and then the reason. So you can kick somebody right after your server. Um, player list, list all the players in your server, as it says right there. Um, player list detailed, list all players, um, but I think in more detail, I guess. <laughs> um, players detailed, so you can do stuff and here. We can see the difference between these if we really want to. We always do player detailed and omega given. Let's see what it spits out, shall we? Failed. Value is null. Well, sometimes these uh, commands don't work. Not every command works or works as you think it does. So just ignore that for now. Um, let's go to a command that we know how to work. I have a lot of YouTube videos for how to use these commands. So you can go check those out if you need further help with certain commands. Um, so we got player, um, let's do player message right here. Sends a message to a player. So you need player message and then players. So this is the name of a player. The message is a string and then a duration for like, you know, um, how long you want that message to appear to them. So what does that mean? Well, let's expand my player thing in the top right here. Do player message omega given. And then let's just type in hello. I think that might need to be in quotes, but since I use a single word, it does work. If it's a space between your words, um, for example, if you wanted to do something else, it's probably going to give you a weird situation. Let's give it a try. Why not? Probably going to see a fail or something like that. Yeah, command not found. 
What if you what you need to do is you need to make sure you put whatever you're saying into a string, which is quotes, two quotes, and it will appear up top as what I just typed. So that's one way to do that. Okay. So that's basically what you can do to learn more about these commands. Um, you can go through here and you can definitely just check a bunch of different things. You can kill your player. You can, uh, I don't know, cripple them, play your cripple. You can teleport them. I have a video explaining more about the teleports. But I can also show you right here, help player teleport. What this will do is going to show us even more details about how to use the player teleport command. So right here, player teleport. And then it has all of the locations that you can use to teleport your player, which is super helpful. So if you ever need to do that, just do this and you can see all the locations. Um, I, in my video, I also covered those locations, but super helpful. All right, well, that's basically how you use this console. It's super helpful. You can do trade post, which is actually here. I should probably show you guys that one. Help trade. So trade is trade post is the command that you're going to probably be using to uh, spawn in items on quest. Um, player spawn, I think. Player spawn, um, I think, is the help command for PC VR players. So trade post will send something to a player's like the post, like the uh, mailbox, and then the spawn command. Actually, it might be just help spawn. The spawn commands for PC VR players. Um, PC VR players can also use the post command, um, but we do not see this working for us. It might be because we're uh, logged in on a Quest server, or I'm just not typing in right. But it's a spawn command that's for PC VR. But yes, help trade. So we can see trade post, your username, the name of the object that you're spawning in, and arguments. Arguments can be the color of the item or just other stuff. Um, so if you want to spawn in, I don't know, um, trade post omega given, and then just say flint. You can just do that and you can spawn it in. Um, I'm not gonna buy a, a post box to be able to show you guys, but you can see that I spawned in a silver backpack, which is normally not allowed to be happening, but you know, we did it anyways. All right, but that's basically how you use this. Now let's go over to this. This is the cons dash console. Um, this is super helpful for using multiple commands. As you can see, I have tons of widgets open. Um, let's close out of all of these widgets because you, when you first open the thing, it's going to probably ask you for one, log in, and then two, uh, it'll send you here where it looks blank. Make sure you click the servers button on the left and it'll open this, which is just all the servers that you can modify and whatnot. So I can go to make a given test server. Now, oftentimes people will open up the dashboard and they'll be like, what do I do? It's not opening. It's not letting me run my commands. Um, like if you do, you can add modules. So the mod, you want to add the command module, like uh, the command runner. It'll show up like this. If it doesn't show up like this and it has like an HTTP whatever request thing, there's two ways to fix this. One is go into the web bar and you'll see that you can delete the S of HTTPS and then reload the website and it will might work. If that doesn't work, another thing you can do, I don't know how to do this on um, uh, mobile. So if you're on your phone trying to do this, it might not work, but you can go to this button on most browsers, go to site settings. And then here you can change it up by going to insecure content. And then you can see it's blocked. You can go and click allow and then close this out, reload the page. And then it should work. It should pop up with your command runner. So those are the two things that if your command runner doesn't work right off the bat for using this page, that how you can make it so it works. Um, mobile, anybody on mobile that's trying to use it on like their Safari or something like that on an iPhone, um, You'll have to do some weird shenanigans. I think there's a couple of people that have made server uh, helpers for that. So go and look those ones up. I, th um, I can't remember the names of the people that did it. Maybe Synthix. He might have a uh, video on it. But yeah. So this has the same function as the other console thing on the tavern. So you can do help and it shows you all of the help commands or whatever. All the other commands. It's really small. Sorry about that. Um, but that's super helpful there. Um, not only does it can you use the normal command runner, but there's a couple modules that are super helpful. Well, one is players online. You can see how many players or what players are online currently. Um, two, you can see a bans thing. This is kind of helpful to just like really quickly ban somebody. Um, say if I wanted to ban Clickster because I wanted to ban him, I could just do that and ban. So that's super helpful. 
Um, we're not going to ban him, though. Um, then what else do we have? We have uh, we have the Command Breakdown. This is super helpful because the Command Breakdown... Let's pull this up to the top here. Command Breakdown basically is the help command, but just like, you know, in a little tab format. So if you want help with, um, say, the player command like we were looking at before, you can do this, and it has all of the commands for it. So it's like kick a player, or list a player, or teleport a player, or kill a player. So how how you can go about like following the understanding of this is the topmost tab is the start of the command. So you're going to have to type in... Actually, let me run or pull the command runner side by side with it, maybe. All right, so say you want to do um, player. So you would do player is your first word. You want to maybe kill a player. So player kill. And then you. it says that the parameters are just a player name. So we're going to do omega given. And it'll kill our player. So that's how you can use the breakdown, or at least that's how it's like formatted. It's kind of like a, the uh, cascading system that you got to make sure you follow the cascading system down. Um, so that's pretty helpful. You can see all of that right there. And then um, another thing that's super helpful with this one is you can open up multiple command runners. Um, so we can do command runner here. It probably puts it right at the very bottom, which is annoying. But let's pull it to the top here and we can have them side by side. And big. And maybe we want to just do like help as one of them. So we can have the help command and like all of the feedback from it right here. So we can use that in a command over here. So that's just super helpful. That's how you can use the dashboard. Um, so yeah, um, if you have any questions, ask them down below. Somebody's probably going to answer them or you can just go and find those answers to the questions on my other videos. I have like hundreds of other videos, literally how to spawn in specific items or how to use certain commands like teleport command, XP commands and etc. There's a lot of the videos I've made a lot. I've been at this for two years. Um, but yeah, go check those out. Um, as well as there's still one more thing I have failed to mention. Once you're really good at this stuff, you can also look up how to use the prefabulicator. I have no idea how to spell that. Prefabulicator? Oh, but you can go and look that up. There's some other people that have covered that. I haven't covered that in a video, or maybe I have but it's a very complicated one. But once you get to that thing, that's what you can use to actually spawn in full on buildings and PC VR. And it's super helpful for those PC VR players. Um, but with that, I, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. So this is 2023 basic guide of how to get started with your Township Tales servers. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, like and subscribe, else um, I'll see you in the next time. Go watch our um, uh, Township Tale SMP series. It's a really fun cinematic series that you're gonna love if you like a Township Tale. So I'll see y'all later, bye.